So I'm going to show you how to budget while still having fun in life. So first, you have fixed costs. You want to try to keep this as low as possible. Try to keep this below 60%. It's even better if it's 50%, 40%, something like that. What is a fixed cost? This would be your house, your car, your gas, your electric, your phone, your water, your food, your heat, your loans, any of the bills that you have coming in like that. Retirement's the next section. You want about 5 to 15%. So it, you really need to have 15% invested there over the life of the, the working career in order to have a good retirement when you retire in your 60s, let's say. When you start off, anything's better than nothing. So start off, if you have company match and it's 4%, at least start it there. I would suggest try to go as high as you can. For example, you're working and you can put 5% away right now. Well, that's great. Next year, you get a 3% raise. Well, maybe you put one more percent or two more percent towards retirement. So maybe you're now looking at 7%. And then the following year, you get another 3% raise. Increase this by 2% and spend the other 1%. So then you're at 9%. And over a couple of years, you'll get up to that 15%. And that would be great. Savings. So you do want to have a rainy day fund, basically the emergency fund. Eventually you want to have something in the three to six month time frame, but at the very beginning, at least get a $1,000 uh, emergency fund. And if you want anything like a vacation and you want to start saving for that, save for that as well. I would say put about five to 10% in there. Here's the other part. Make sure you budget. I mean, we only live for so many years. Make sure you have some fun with your money. You don't want to wait till you're 80 years old and be like, hey, I have millions of dollars and you can't even get out of your house because you're in a wheelchair or you're on oxygen or you've had heart attacks and maybe you don't even live that long. So make sure you enjoy your life with your family and spend about, you know, 25, 30% of your total income on just fun. The important thing here is to not just buy a whole bunch of knickknacks and stuff that don't really make you happy. What you'll find is a lot of people will have different priorities. So maybe it's going out to eat. Maybe you enjoy spending that time with your family and it's stress-free. You don't want to be stressed out about money. So just make sure you're budgeting to have fun with the people that you love. Don't wait till you're 80 years old and everybody's left. So for me, I have about 45% here. I go a little high on retirement because I want to have the ability to retire early. So I'd say about that. And savings, I'd probably go about 5%. Here, I'd probably go about 30%. Okay, so this is me. The retirement, I go a bit heavy on that. Reason being is if I put it into like a 401k, an IRA, there's tax advantages to that. I don't really feel like giving any more money than I have to to the government. So I'll take my Roth account, I'll fund both my wife's and my account. And we'll put that in the individual retirement agreements. Basically, it's a, an account at a brokerage. And then the beauty of a Roth is effectively I can pull out the principal after five years. So it's almost like savings, uh, but it's tax advantaged at least. And if I don't need it in that five years or, or some period of time, I can use it in retirement at 59 and a half years of age. And I don't pay taxes. I don't pay penalties. So it's a really great mechanism to, to have long-term growth. And effectively, I just put more money in here just because I want to retire or have the potential to retire. You don't want to have to worry about the next time there's a layoff. It would be great if all of us just went to work because we love to go to work and do the things we do. People may change jobs and may pick different careers if they didn't have to work for money. So I, I want to be in that place where I can continue doing what I'm doing because I love it. But I want to be able, if there's a layoff, I don't have to worry about it. It's a lot less stressful, and when you're not stressed out, you get to do a lot more fun things. You live a longer life, and you're usually healthier because you're not having heart attacks. And by the way, stress is actually not a bad thing. There's been studies where if people believe stress is bad, they actually have a shortened lifespan. But if they believe stress is not bad and they are under stress or what people would consider that, they actually don't have a shortened lifespan. I don't believe it's really a bad thing because stress keeps us moving. Savings, I keep about 5% towards savings. I'm more aggressive and I'm, uh, I take more risk. So, and fun, my family likes to spend money, so a lot of it goes to, to just enjoying life and doing fun things. I hope this gives you an idea of how you can set up a budget. That's how my budget goes. 
and uh, over time this number is going to keep going down because if you have a very long term you know fixed debt and you pay it off say you pay off your mortgage early you could take this down to maybe 20 percent 30 percent and then that's more money to go into retirement and savings and effectively that starts making more money which can help pay for fun and then you don't necessarily need to go to work or you have a, just a giant income after a while. There was a janitor, he left behind over $8 million uh, estate when he died, and he was a janitor. So even professions that don't seem to make a lot of money, as long as you're making consistent contributions over a long period of time, even if it's a couple thousand dollars a year or a couple hundred dollars a month, or even you know small sums over a lifetime, you, you can have a considerable amount of wealth for you and your family. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.